What's up everybody and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. This video is about an historic settlement that has just taken place, which means that University of California schools will no longer use either the SAT or the ACT as optional admission criteria or scholarship consideration. This decision will affect the following 10 schools in the University of California system, very prestigious schools, very well known and highly sought after. Now this video is a follow-up video that I made not too long ago where a lawsuit was brought against the University of California schools and in fact they were already not allowed to use the ACT or the SAT because of a preliminary injunction. I also said that a preliminary injunction wasn't definitive but it likely seemed to indicate that this was going to be the final decision going forward. Well now there is a definitive answer as a settlement has been reached by both parties. Today's settlement ensures that the university will not revert to its planned use of the SAT and ACT which its own regents have admitted are racist metrics, said a lawyer representing the students. The newly announced settlement says that no no University of California schools can consider SAT or ACT scores in determining admission offers for students applying for entry between fall 2021 and spring 2025. If scores are submitted by students, they will not be viewed by those looking over admission applications, the settlement said. So what does this mean for you as a student? Now again, if you are solely applying to University of California schools, this effectively means that you no longer have to take these tests for better or for worse. If however you are applying to other schools outside of the University of California system, then you can still submit submit both ACT and SAT scores. Now we get to the final issue where I'm going to lay my opinion out a little bit in terms of whether or not I think this is the right decision. Now look, I'm all for equity and fairness and I don't want anything in the school systems or in the admission criteria that's going to be providing a disadvantage. I do think the waters, however, have been muddied here because all admission criteria are vulnerable to advantages and socioeconomic status. For example, where you can go to school, what activities you can participate in, what mentors you have at your disposal. Certain kids and certain areas with certain demographics are going to have advantages that others don't. The thing that I've always felt strongly in terms of standardized testing is that I feel like it's one super consistent thing across the board. Moreover, with this abundance of free resources like YouTube videos, Khan Academy, etc., which are leveling the playing field, I think the real solution lies in providing more of these free resources to students so that the true hardworking ones can really rise to the top. That being said, a settlement has been reached and we are moving forward at the University of California schools and that's that. Now, if you were to ask me what I hope happens in the future, what I hope is that the void will be filled. I hope the University of California systems don't simply use all the other criteria in absence of this one standardized metric. Perhaps a new test can be developed or some new system that can be objective and can weed out a lot of potential for maybe stereotypes or biases, etc. Will any new system or admissions test be perfect? No, of course not. There's always going to be issues, but hopefully whatever comes about, I hope it's better for all students across all spectrums. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button and if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.